Hey, what's up everybody? Garrick Rumlin here with Duty to Train. Thank you again to all my subscribers. I really hope you're enjoying my pistol training course. And if you have not signed up yet, if this is your first video watching me, I have a pistol training course that is totally free. And I would argue it is the best pistol training course for beginners on the market because one, it's free. And two, no matter if you sign up for a course, right, maybe you'll learn like a couple of the basics, but eventually you'll forget. Even pretty advanced shooters, if you don't continuously train, pistol shooting is not like riding a bike in the sense that once you learn it, you're good to go. You have to constantly train or your skills diminish. And so my training program, it's a series of 14, 15 minute videos that allows you to train from home and that way you can constantly re-up your skills whenever you need to. So say you don't shoot for two months, right? And then you're gonna go shooting with your friends. You can watch one of my videos at home and you just follow along. I go over grip, uh, stance grip, sight alignment, trigger control, point shooting, multiple target engagement. It's totally free. You can do it from home, no distractions, no stress as a beginner because you're not surrounded by gunfire. So if you haven't signed up, please go ahead and do that. But I wanted to address um, a comment I got the other day about a video that I made. I talked about point shooting. And if you don't know what that is, just go check out that video. Um, but Point shooting is essentially where you know you don't use your sights, you just point and shoot. And the reason that this is important for beginners to learn how to do is because I believe it's 80%, but the vast majority of defensive shooting situations occur within seven yards, so less than 21 feet. And I don't know if you've ever tested this out, but you know if you're married or whatever, have your significant other or a friend or somebody stand 21 feet away from you and then bum rush you as fast as possible. They get to you like that. And if somebody is bum rushing you with a knife or a gun or a hammer or anything else and they're trying to hurt you, the last thing you're going to be thinking about is, oh, let me align my sights real quick. No, no, no. You know, you're gonna have to get into your lockbox, get your pistol, get your pistol up on target. And within all that time, the last thing you're gonna be thinking about once you finally get up on target is, oh, you know, let me aim my sights. It's just not gonna happen. And you're being unrealistic with yourself as a beginner if you think that you're gonna aim your sights. I have been shooting pistols for about 14 years. And I've taken a couple of hiatuses in there, but all in all, I've had 14 years of experience. I'm a Marine Corps champion pistol shooter. Um, I have a, more experience than probably 98% of people in America. I train to point shoot because I have never been in a life or death situation. I have never been in a de defensive shooting situation. And I honestly, I don't believe that if somebody bum rushed me from 21 feet away, I'd be like, oh, let me get my sights. I would just point and shoot. And I think you're kidding yourself if you think that as a beginner, you know, you're going to align your sights. You're just not gonna have time. I talked to a friend of mine who's in the Secret Service. He's on the president's detail. And I asked him about point shooting. And he's like, I think it's great for beginners. Um, he doesn't, the Secret Service doesn't train that way because they're constantly surrounded by crowds of people and they have to make sure that they're really, really accurate. But they have the ability and the time to constantly train. That's all they do, right? If they're not with the president and they're not on rest, they're just training. That's like all they do. They just train and train and train. They go to the best training programs. And so if you have the ability to do that, yeah, hold yourself to the standard of using your sights in a defensive shooting situation, in every defensive shooting situation. But if you think as a beginner, you have that ability, there's no way, you know? And you just have to be honest with yourself. So this review that I got the other day, I just want to address this. Because I want to address people who thinks that my training program is somehow flawed. And I'm not saying I'm right on everything. And if somebody ever made the point to me or ever made a point to me that I think that where I thought my training was poor or could improve, I would absolutely change it. But you cannot convince me that beginners are ever going to have like the mental acuity in a high stress situation to align their sights. And if you go on, um, I'll post a video about this uh, a little bit more later, but there's a specific channel, I can't remember it on YouTube right now, but he basically just goes over like real videos of defensive shooting situations and 95% of them, people are point shooting without even realizing what they're doing. It's just a defense mechanism to just, if you have a gun, take it out and just start shooting. And you can argue whether that's good or bad,
but you can't argue the reality that that is what happens. And so if that is going to be what happens with you, you might as well train the way you're going to fight. And if you're going to fight using point shooting, you might as well train that. So this guy said, at duty to train, point shooting is a legacy engagement tactic, tactic and as such should be a thing of the past. There's literally not one nationally recognized firearms trainer in the industry that teaches people to point shoot. I looked up point shooting on YouTube. I found this channel, Tactical Hive, which I've seen before. And if you haven't seen them, I'd highly recommend checking them out. They have great videos as well. But in two seconds, I found a Navy SEAL who is talking about point shooting, the validity of it, and why it's so important. Because the most of the time in seven yard distances, you're not going to have the ability to take the time to acquire your sights, right? So I have put a lot of thought into this program. And just because someone puts a lot of thought into their program doesn't mean it's correct. But if I thought it was wrong, I would absolutely change it. But you just can't argue with me that beginner pistol shooters should not point shoot because that is just what they do. And it's what I would do. I've been shooting for 14 years. A, you know, a Navy SEAL or a Secret Service agent, um, my Marine Corps or my business partner who's a Green Beret, you know, they have like, all they do is just train all day, every day. If that's what you do, or if that's what you're willing to do, then you can hold yourself to that higher standard. But beginners don't have that ability. And so they need to train in a realistic manner that will actually prepare them for a real life situation. Don't train for a pipe dream. Don't train for how you wish that you'd perform. Train for how you actually are gonna perform. And you're actually going to point shoot, so that's actually what you need to do. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I just wanted to clear that up a little bit. If Again, if you haven't signed up for my duty to train course, I really hope you do. Um, and please spread the message, like, subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. My goal is to make duty to train the go-to place for beginners. And pistol training, getting good training should not just be for people who have the money or the time. It should be available to everyone, right? We have the right to bear arms. The reason I call my company Duty to Train, it was also in honor of my brother, but the reason he named his company Duty to Train is because we have a right to bear arms, but you have a duty to know how to use your weapon system properly. And my pistol training program teaches you how to do that with your pistol. So head on over to duty, the number two train.com, duty to train.com, sign up. And um, if you have any problems, I've had a couple people with login issues, just shoot me an email at support at duty to train.com. I can go in the back end and finagle it and it's a non-issue, but some people are having some login issues. So let me know if you do. And until next time, stay safe, live free. Remember pistol shooting is really easy. Sign up for my course, I'll prove it to you and I'll talk to you soon, see ya.